hello and welcome back to another nail video today i'll be doing a fill-in on my short square acrylic nails using poly gel and for today's set i'm using beetles base coat my poly gel brush which is actually just a cleanup brush rosin clear poly gel and alcohol Oh, and I can't forget the nail primer because I do want these nails to last. And my first step, these nails have already been foul shaped and prepped. And so I'm going to go in and apply a very thin amount of the nail primer to each nail. Then I go in with the Beatles base coat and I apply a very thin layer to each nail as well. And then I let those nails cure for 60 seconds and then now it's time for the poly gel application. So I just place a small bead of the clear poly gel in the center of the nail. Then I use the tip of my nail brush to push the poly gel back in place. And so whenever I feel like the product is getting a little too sticky or too hard to work with, I go ahead and dip my brush back into the alcohol and then I smooth that poly gel down towards the tip of the nail. And I make sure that I clean up underneath the nail as well as the side walls and the cuticle area before I let that poly gel cure for 60 seconds. And this is how the nail looks, pretty good. And then I move on to the next nail. And I just repeat the same steps, placing a small bead of poly gel in the center of the nail. And then I use the tip of my nail brush to push that poly gel back towards the cuticle area before I go ahead and smooth that poly gel down towards the tip of the nail.
and I do make sure that I cure the nails after each nail just to make sure that the poly gel stays in place and I don't have to worry about it moving or losing its shape and I'm actually finding that doing poly gel sets have been so easy um like it's way less time consuming than acrylic even though i love acrylic it's my favorite type of nail enhancement but yeah this set i did my both hands and it probably only took me an hour so even though it was a feel but yeah, great timing, great timing. So yes, I've definitely been loving poly gel. And if you haven't gotten the chance to try poly gel, I would highly suggest it. And unfortunately, I did lose one nail, my thumbnail. Um, so on this nail, instead of just putting a small amount of poly gel in the center of the nail I kind of dragged the gel down towards the tip of the nail but I'm kind of repeating the same process I use the tip of my nail brush to push that poly gel back in place and then I actually make sure that the nail is completely covered with the poly gel before I go ahead and smooth that poly gel down towards the tip of the nail. And of course, I remove any of the excess gel from the tip of the nail. And I went ahead and did my left hand off camera and these are how the nails turned out. Super cute. And so here I'm just spraying the nails down with alcohol and I'm just gonna wipe those nails off to remove that sticky tacky layer before I foul shape and buff these nails, which I'm also gonna do off camera because as you know, that takes forever. And these are how the nails look after they've been foul shaped and buffed. And now I'm just gonna go in and paint these nails. And for my ring finger, I wanted to create a marble effect. So I'm using the Amigo Blooming Gel 
to create that effect. So I just apply a very thin layer of the blooming gel to my ring finger. And then I let it sit for about five seconds. And then I go in and apply the gel polish. And I'm going to apply it in a diagonal. And then apply the orange color directly underneath. And then I go back in with the white. And I use my dotting tool to mix those colors together to create the marble effect. And this is how the nails turned out. So cute. I love them. They were so easy to do. Very simple. Um, I love the colors. I think they complement each other so well. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next nail video.